like and you know. you do. So do you, uh, you want to uh, do too much? This might work like this. Let me see if I can. Hey, you can use it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me put it in here. Okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I can see him. Do we need to go again? But well, we can. We might need to go. My son to go to meet and close. Huh? Oh. <laughs> he in there playing with that TV? Huh? No, man, I had a fire stick put in each one of my rooms. Oh, yeah. I got a TV because my wife don't like what I like to watch. And I dang she don't like what she like to watch. So, oh, no. yeah, so this way I did a, uh, the fire sticks in the room so she can watch hers and I can watch mine. All right, man, what's good? It's your boy, Big Sale. Uh, it ain't going to stop, man. One of my reasons for taking this journey, man, to California, first off, simply because I like to ride, so... All you gotta do is invite me for a cheeseburger. I'm on my motorcycle. <laughs> Real fat nigga shit. But <laughs> I've had the privilege too, man. I was invited down by my man Chopper Dirk to, to be here on Sunday. But my biggest privilege was to come. You know, we've been trying to seek the knowledge, man, of the bike set, and we've been trying to get it back on point. So my whole goal was to come. Everybody say the West Coast is different from the South. They say, you know, the stuff that y'all do in the South, it ain't gonna fly on the West. And vice versa. So well, I came to talk to some of the OGs, man. I'll be talking to them the whole time I'm here and find out what's the difference between the, the uh, West and the South. And if, if it's all motorcycling and the rules are all the same, how can it Pretty be much different? That, it, it, it's not that much difference. Yeah. It, it is, but it isn't. The, uh, basically, we all got one thing in common. We all like riding our bikes. Yeah. Some of them like going to liquor store to liquor store. Some of them like going cross country. Mm -hmm. But we all got, we like riding motorcycles. So the whole thing of it is, uh, the flavor of the West Coast and the East Coast and all that, it's basically the same. But like when we all get together at the Roundup, yeah. everybody, you, you, you never have no problems. Yeah. So it can't be too much a difference. You know. So I got my OG, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. He already done jumped in, so it's gonna be good. But introduce yourself. Yeah, my me. name is uh Chopper Tookie. I'm from uh Chopper's Motorcycle Club. Um uh, Watch Chapter. We have about 10, 15 chapters out here in uh, California. Uh starting from uh Oakland all the way down to San Diego. And uh We've been around, we wanted about the third or the fourth oldest uh, black club here in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, we all started off, like, I started off riding in 1963, so I came in on uh, riding on some brother's shoulders like a Star Riders Motorcycle Club. It's one of the oldest black motorcycle clubs. These were some brothers who they didn't ride nothing but black motorcycles. They, they didn't ride till nighttime. Is that what it? Yeah, black that night. Like star, star riders. Okay. They wore black uniforms, and then they brought me in, and I came out of high school. That was 1963. Fresh out of high school. High school bought me a shovel head. Yeah. And so let me ask you: It's always been a myth that blacks didn't start off on Harley's. Is that true or not? No. Uh, Dragons uh, started off on Harley Davis. Uh, Chopper's Motorcycle Club started off on nothing but Harley Davis. Uh, De Defiant Ones, I believe they started off on nothing but Harley. And back then it was Iron Head, uh, yeah, Shovel Heads, you know, Sportsters, yeah. all kind of bikes. So, because they were saying that we didn't start off on Harley because we couldn't afford them or something. No, no, no. Yeah. When I bought my first one, it was $3,000. And I was out of high school, so yeah. trust me, we could afford anything we want. <laughs> <laughs> so they and killed I, that myth right there. They done went then. from uh, my $3,000 to my $45,000 yeah, motorcycle, you know. So we, we always, but it's it really what's really funny, now that a bike costs forty fifty thousand dollars $50,000, yeah. it's more brothers with them than when they was costing $3,000, mm. $4,000. What was it because, too? I heard back then... It was a battle to ride a Harley Davidson, meaning that you, you had, had to, fight. to learn how to wrench. Yeah, you. I mean, you know, it was a challenge in that you had to some, have some kind of uh, abilities or either long paper to uh, okay. have uh, have work done for you. Yeah. But most people back in them days, we all was mechanically inclined, or we all helped each other. Yeah. You know, because uh, what about the what about the white versus the black thing? Was that an issue back then? You know. We never got off into white versus black down here. They done theirs. We would go to a few, you know, things like Hell's Angels. We yeah. would go to some of their stuff. They might come over here up in Oakland, the Dragons and the Hell's Angels. They get around, around real good. They've yeah. been, you know, Sonny Barker and Toby Jean, they've been around uh, together ever since they was young kids. Yeah. Uh, 
Arlen Ness. Okay. He's out from uh, uh, Hell's Angels up there. Mm. He started off in his garage. Yeah. And we saw him go up there to his garage before he became Arlen Ness Whoa. big time, you know. That's good. So we've always been uh you know, it, it, it's never so been. So it wasn't no, no, it wasn't no issue where they say it's the like just taking black like, off they motorbike. Nah, it's like it's like you get caught slipping. Did you just get caught you slipping? Get caught slipping. Yeah. You know, like I I know a dude who was up on top of a mountain. I ain't gonna mention what club he was in, and he looked down and he seen some white boys taking his bike. Yeah. He was slipping. Mm. You know, so and that's know, just with anything. That's though. that's in, it been. That's <laughs> at night. Yeah, that's you yeah. Know. Period. But. Uh, as far as all this stuff with between different the clubs, raise of tension and, and all. right, you know, like I think it's like you get what you can be. If you're looking for something, moves, you can find only, it. Only two, uh, you know, and that's real. Because like I go to every year, at New Year's, I go to the state line, and the bar goes there. Yeah, the bar goes is there, okay. and they are uh, they predominantly all uh, oh, okay. all uh, white motors, white Hispanic motors, okay. stuff. I've been wearing my colors. I've never had no problems, you know, mm. know where I went. And he can tell you, yeah. I travel like him cross country by myself. Yeah. You know, I've never had no problems. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I've been, I've been having had any problems either. And I ride a lot I've had by people stop and ask me, uh, you want to come to dinner? Yeah. You know, and, and, and treat a, yeah. a, a brother, you know, real nice. I've had people who look at me strange. You keep it, yeah. You know, but, but that's I, a, that's I, know how, I know how to deal yeah. with them too. I look back strange. Yeah. Go from there. So let me ask you this: Fifty years. How do you keep a motorcycle together, a motorcycle club together? Fifty years. It's a challenge. It's just like anything. You got fifty years, and you got a hundred different minds. Mm. You know, and then you got generation after generation after generation. Like right now, in the choppers, we got uh, third generations. Uh, my, my, me, my son, my grandson, mm. and it's other people like that. Uh, what's got their grand their kids their grandkids you know and it's kind of good because it's a family like uh, brothers who the brother who just left to gave us a service he grew up around us okay he became a chopper you know yeah. and, and we got as far as different clubs who grew up gang banging yeah they become motorcycle riders they had to give up something they gave up. so they gave up banging I got you they come in to be a, they was a blood, they ain't a blood. They a uh, crip, they ain't a crip. They a motorcycle rider, they ain't a choppers or whatever club they get into. We very seldom have problems where people are stepping out and, and talking the gang stuff. Yeah. You know. One of the biggest debates that we had on my show one time is what is a motorcycle rider? What is a what is a what is a rider? The essence of a motorcycle yeah, what, rider. I'm sorry, a biker. They, they, the the biker. They, what is a biker? The, uh, it's an attitude. Okay. The freedom. It's, it's a freedom thing. Okay. It's like it's cheaper for a brother to get on a Harley Davidson and go lay down at a psychiatrist's office. Mm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's a release. Okay. Everybody uh, rides different reasons. My my reason was I worked hard. I played hard. Okay. You know. And Harley looked, Davidson was the way to play. That was my play. You yeah. know. Start off Friday and all the way until next Friday. Yeah. You know, that was my job, really. Yeah. When I got out of high school, I went to school and rode a motorcycle. That's all I did for five years. Mm. You know, that's after high school. Yeah. And then when I come out to service, I bought me another new bike, and then I, I wanted to tour the United States. Okay. So I didn't hit all 50 of the states, yeah. even Alaska. Mm. You know, that was my biggest challenge uh, from L.A. to Alaska. That's 3,000-something miles. Okay. And the roads is, like, not the, the greatest roads. And then when you get over into Canada, it's, it's you know, it's just different, you know. Yeah, yeah. And like I say, I've been to practically all the roundups, so I've been all in the United States. But, I like, I've always met good people. Well, for you, seeing the younger generation now, when, when 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 one of them come to you and they're interested in joining the choppers, what's more important for you being an OG that he need to have? Uh, uh, his attitude. I, I, the first thing I look at is the attitude and, and to see what kind of history he got. Okay. History to me is more important than the attitude. I can adjust the attitude. Okay. But if you got bad history, it's it's, it's kind of difficult to get around it. Like the set that you was on or. You was in another club. How did you leave that other club? Were you in good standings with that club? Did you owe somebody some money? Yeah. You know, because whatever we take on in the choppers, 
that person, we're taking on their problems if they got problems. So, you know, it's better to know what, what kind of bag you're dealing with. Yeah. You so, how long? So, let me ask you this. You, especially down. All right, we back real quick. Be, being a. Being 50 years in the game, is there a sufficient amount of time for a prospect? Do you guys yeah. need a new prospect? Uh, no. You don't? Not really. Uh, you got to get 500 miles riding with us. Okay. You know, uh, we don't, uh, we give you your colors. You don't own them until after 90 days. Okay. You know, uh, we fill you out, but we want to ride with you. Okay. And so we, we got a mandatory 500 miles, which is nothing. You know, we take a little run from here to Oakland or some guys, we take them to state line there and back. That's the 500 miles. But the main thing is, you know, like, we don't have no no haters in our club. He can tell you. We like a big family. Okay. You know, we, we don't have a click over here, a click over there. You so know. how do you manage that? Because that's kind of like, if, if that's my partner and really that's all I know, so how do you avoid, how do you keep that from happening? You, you you try to nip it in the bud when you see it okay. getting ready to happen. You know you can you can see like certain dudes starting to hang out more so with others or or these brothers got money don't want to hang out with these brothers because okay. they not you know but uh, you know we deal with it you know so you know it's like anything you you learn over a period of time. Okay. You know, getting back to prospecting, I prospect for a year for a club. Not this club. No, not this club. Okay. But I, I couldn't get my colors for nothing. I was <laughs> twenty something years old. Yeah. I was messing up too hard. Yeah. You so it was just. I, I, I had, yeah. I had what all the new, the young brothers coming in now got that attitude. Yeah. You know, yeah, I was invincible. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I started all of this. I didn't know that I was standing on other people's shoulders mm. coming into this. Like I say, the, these brothers who was in uh, Star Rider Motorcycle Club yeah. took me under their wing, and they showed me the ropes, you know. And so it, when I finally got with uh, Choppers, yeah. I came in from uh, Oakland to East Bay Dragons, and I was prospecting for them, and then some came up, and I had to come back down this way. So I got with a friend of mine's talk and, and uh, another brother. These are the OGs, and they they got me talking about these choppers. And found out everybody was just like me. Yeah, we you know we had the same riding interests. That's one of the things too. I, I try to tell people on the motorcycle set. A lot of the new cats come in, they get a motorcycle, and they be so in a rush to join the club. I tell them, won't you date the set? Won't you court the set? Yeah, you know, kind of hang out. Yeah, hang out because find out what because. You want to be. it, just because your homeboy is in that club don't mean that you're going to fit in with that club. Right, right. right. And, that, and that is true. You know, we we just been lucky that most of the guys who grew up with us are in, is in our club. Okay. Uh, they're kids. They're in our club. Okay. You know, so we, we, we know them. You know, we got a lot who's not, who's coming in now, who didn't grow up with us, but we know their history. Like I said, that's about that history. Okay. You gotta know people's history, man, because you can take on this and stuff. Uh, when San Diego got started, we took on uh, twelve dudes. They came. They their whole chapter turned over to China. Okay. We knew their history and, and some stuff went down, but we was ready for it because we knew what it was. That what it was. Yeah. What, what, what went down. Yeah. And we was ready to take it on if it got yeah. out of hand. Okay. So you know we it's it's things you know uh, as you be on the set for a long time you get to like a lot of times the OGs are, are call each other like if something happens and somebody call me and say hey Tug uh, man so and so is uh, messing up real hard I'm talking about one of my brothers you know so yeah. I'll pull them aside and say hey, man look you can't just be going to people's club I hope disrespecting him you know something yeah. like that you know and then they'd do the same thing for me I if you. I call him and say hey man your boy is over here and he you know, acting up. Yeah, drinking too much and acting up. If I pull this coat, it's gonna be a problem. You pull this coat, he gonna straighten up. I got you, you know, so you know, it, it, that's a, a camaraderie we have amongst all the clubs. That's one thing about black. So do you think that's lost clubs. though? You, you think the new no, generation can handle that? The new generation is a little bit more on fire, or as a set something off real quick. Yeah. Man, we ain't got to take that. Yeah. You know, when we're more diplomatic, we gonna deal with it. Yeah, in the in in the talk way first. Okay, you know because to me 
it takes more knowledge to stop something than the lead. Yeah, you know I told him. I tell my son all the time. Show me how smart you is by working it out. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying. Don't just yeah. don't manhandle it. Just yeah. take your time. Yeah. Cause, cause yeah. Manhandle it brings on a whole different aspect of everything. Yeah. and it ain't about who's bad and who's tough. Yeah, you know, because I, I think that all of us is, is bad and tough. Okay, you know, because it takes a certain frame of mind to be on this set. Okay, you just can't come on this set and last a long time, and and not be a a, a, a righteous person. I got you. You know what I'm saying. Time tells on everybody, brother. So, the writing, like I said, and I, and I tell people all the time, writing is not new. It, now that we got the social media, you get to see more people writing. Right. Because you right. guys did write. Was it a lot of out-of-state writing? Or oh, it was a bunch of out-of-state writing. No, yeah. no, no, no. When I, when I first came in, I I rode in, uh, and this was on a shovel head to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Whoa. You know, uh, it's like I say, every year... Pretty much so. Till I had my accident in 2010, I would go to every roundup. Okay. And so that's at least uh, 3,000 miles uh, the road that between, way. Yeah, yeah to, to where it is, yeah. you know. And um, I got certain people, you know, it's, it's certain guys in the club who's gonna ride a long distance, and so, then there's some who ain't go touch that. Why, why not even mess with it? So you know, so I got like six guys who, whenever they say we getting ready to go, yeah. I pretty much I know they gone. Okay. You know, so we got it's about six of us got coast to coast patches 10, 15 times. We'd have been coast to coast. I mean, from Long Beach to Virginia Beach, Long okay. Beach to Miami Beach. Okay. You know, so we done been all the way cross country. Uh, is got, that important? Is that important? To me, that? it was. Yeah. To me, you know, uh, I've never been a, a, a liquor store rider. Okay. From one clubhouse to the next clubhouse. Okay. I, I enjoyed that part of the bike set. But it, it's the ride. Yeah. It's not really okay, good. Okay, we back. Y'all, excuse that interruption, man. This is be your part two. Okay. And I'm going to let you guys know you guys got to meet and stuff. No, I don't go to meet. I don't have to go. I'm, I'm so a, OG I'm a founder. OG I status. I, I, I just sit back and get a telereport. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is there, man. So one of the biggest things, too, man, is we always hear that, you know, the bylaws and the protocols. And we always hear about the unwritten rules. You know, that's one of the things people challenge clubs on now today. Well, where's the road at? Where's the road that I can't do this or yeah. this got to be this way? What does that stuff come Laws from? Laws of the land. It's, it's, it's just like, you know, you know you can't kill nobody without yeah. consequences. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, yeah. Same thing on the motorcycle set. There's certain things you do yeah. and certain things you don't do. You know, yeah. disrespect is a is a no-no. You, you know, can't disrespect them man yeah. because a man gonna speak up for himself mm -hmm. you know if he feel he being disrespected yeah, so he's supposed to it, it's, it's not written nowhere yeah. it's something if what's in your heart okay it's something in your mind you know do you ever have those challenges dealing with something i've, had, I've yeah. had it i've had it with with people who uh you know like i i, I don't try to flaunt how long i've been around or, okay. but i didn't stay around here this long for being stupid okay you know, I'm 70 years old now, so, you know. And still finna get on this motorcycle and go to AZ. Yes, for sure. Still riding AZ. That's, what I'm, that's the life <laughs> I, Lord, please, you heard? That's what I'm trying to do, man. So, you know, uh, I just, you know, I try to treat people like I want to be treated. And if they want to be treated the wrong way, I, I know how to treat them that way, too. Okay. You know, you don't never get too old to be, take up for yourself. Okay. You know, your means of taking up for yourself might change as you get older, yeah. but... You still got that mentality, you know, and that and that's a, a a thing on the motorcycle set. You you see people come in with the wrong impression about us. Okay. You know, we have lawyers, doctors, school teachers, everything. doctors, uh, people, engineers, some yeah. some everything there is out here. Uh, and go ahead. They, they think that uh, you know motorcycle riders like the, the ladies. <laughs> now you can't keep them away from the motorcycle set. They love it. You know, so. They love it. They we, love it. We, 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 we're diverse in, 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 in who we are and what we are. And especially with the confidence. Yeah. So, back in the day, this was said too. Officially, you, could be any, you couldn't start a motorcycle club without a clubhouse. Is that true on the West Coast? You couldn't start a clubhouse back in the day unless whichever clubhouse was in the area, uh -huh. you would go talk to him about starting a clubhouse. Okay. As it 
got to where it was so many bikes. When Hondas came out, that's when it, it changed. So Harleys was out before Hondas? Ha Harleys, uh, Nortons, Triumphs, BSAs, all of these bikes was out and brothers was riding them. Yeah. When Honda came out, it made motorcycle riding more economical. Mm. You, they could they could go buy a 750 Honda, a 450 Honda. Cause a lot of brothers say they never rode a 450 or 750 Honda. They done rode them. You know, <laughs> yeah. Some people have been blessed just yeah. to have all all their life, but they done rode them. You know, and yeah. it's, it's it's like a, a graduating from you know kindergarten to so, high school. You, you know, so uh, everybody's done went through the transition of that, and it and it's good. You know, and history is good as far as. Uh, being uh, with the different type of motorcycle, I, I was blessed that I always knew how to work on a bike. Okay. That's why I always stuck with Harley Davis. Okay. I knew they had a challenge when I got with them that they leaked a little more oil back in the day. Yeah. They did this or they did that, you know. But I was willing to do that. To to be a part to, of to be a part of that that. It's it's a different set. Yeah. All back then when it's all hog riders. Okay. You know. And uh, it's, it's, it really hasn't changed. Uh, people who like Harley Davis won't go with no other motorcycle. Me. You know, HD or nothing, y'all already know, yeah, man. Yeah, and, that, and that's real because, you know, it's uh, economical. It's, it's easier to take your old hog and get the same amount of money out mm. of it that you put into it. Yeah. You can't do that with no other bike. The minute they leave the floor, they depreciate it. Okay. Harley Davis don't depreciate. It yeah. gains value. To depreciate that. Okay. Okay. You know, I got four Harley Davises, mm. but I I just I like building them. I like working on them. You know. Yeah. And, uh, so so I, let me ask you this: If you could take something from back then and bring it into now, this generation, what would it be? From back then, the attitudes. Okay. Of 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 the riders. Okay. Back then, it was there was more riders. You know, like not not a like right now there's riders they they you know 500 miles is a ride in. okay i do that i do that every day when i go cross country yeah five six hundred miles yeah you know you get up and you know you're getting ready to hit that on this trip here i did the, one of the iron butt challenges it was 2548 i did 2608 miles in less than 48 hours yeah you see what i'm saying yeah. you know like i my my easy ride was from here to denver yeah that's 1000 miles I would do it in less than 24 hours. Yeah. We would just get on the bike. And we'd be drunk. <laughs> you hear me? We'd get up and we'd yeah. be talking and we'd be like, man, let's go check out on boy. Yeah. He's still in Denver and we leave here and forget about his weather. Yeah. You know, and we get get happy. We got to go buy shirts, jackets, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, but that's the way it was back in the day, you know. Okay. It was, it was a, a, a more of a, a riding set. Okay. You know. Uh, well, one, yeah, I'll be right there, honey. But one thing I want to tell you, man, is I appreciate the sit down. Um, I appreciate the history. One of the thing, one of the biggest problems that the South has right now is the, and I got to figure out a way how to say this, is the the powers that be governing. Yeah, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we that's, had that here. Uh, Somebody once told me that uh, we had to report to a, a white motorcycle club to start a chapter in their area. Mm. I said, now why, me being a black man, do I got to go ask a white man to start a chapter of my club? And this is down in San Diego. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, uh, it don't fly. I'm not going to ask somebody to uh, start something which a uh, uh, freedom right it's a right okay that you got you know to start a chapter anywhere you want to yeah. me yeah you know i'm not trying to take nothing uh, food From off you, nobody's yeah. table yeah i'm not trying to do nothing all i'm trying to do is is get some more brothers like me to where when i go out of town I they already look. there i yeah. got a clubhouse i could go to there yeah you know it, i i noticed that back about the south that um they told me that uh yeah well if you were gonna start something in opelousas louisiana you're going to have to come and check with so-and-so and so-and-so. Yeah. I, I, I didn't do it then either. We started a clubhouse down there. It stayed going like four years. Okay. You know, uh, they had a few people approach them about, man, uh, what you doing with them colors on in, in the States? In that state, I, and, you know, them brothers explained to them that that state colors and, and 
y'all need to mind y'all business. We're going to leave our business alone. Yeah. Because I, I ran into it one time by myself riding across country. Okay. Uh, some dudes asked me, uh, where was I from? And did uh, people know I'm coming through their state? And I'm, yeah. I'm going, oh, so, so when did it become they state? Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, we, we it got pretty heated. Okay. You know, but they understood my point of view. <laughs> I guess they yeah. seen it, and I understood their point the of view. The whole thing is about his attitude. Being a man, um, you, you got to be a man it. any and everything. I mean, don't be stupid. Yeah. You yeah. know, you can be stupid, and, and you can leave here. Yeah. It's a time and a place for everything, for everything. but sometimes you just got to step up and, like you say, be that man. Yeah. You know, because uh, people are, are always try you. Yeah. You know, they, that happens even in, in the clubs, you know. Yeah. I've been a, I was a president and a vice president. I've never been a, a, a member. Yeah. I was a member for like two years, and then all the rest of my time I've been a, 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 a president or a vice president okay. of the club. And the reason is different. It's, it's, it's like politics. Okay. You got to cater, you know, like uh, people don't realize a, a president is nothing but uh, a flunky for everybody in the club. Mm. Any job that needs to be done, that's the president's job. Yeah. If the secretary ain't there, you secretary. If the business manager ain't there, you business manager. Okay. You a fill-in person. Yeah. And so you don't have no rights where you can dictate to nobody. Everything is voted on, and that's one thing every club has to do. You have to vote on everything. Yeah. Don't no one person can run no club. Period. You know, and if you get to where one person's running the club, then you need to reevaluate what's cracking. Yeah. Because it's it's the majority that rules. Everything should be voted on. Everything. Everything. You know. Well, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, Fifty plus years, choppers. We're gonna continue this later on at the clubhouse. I'll be interviewing uh, different people. Make sure y'all tune in. I hope you got some knowledge. And again, man, I am not. The motorcycle messiah but i promise you that i will kick the dialogue i will address the pink elephant in the room and we're gonna figure it out for sure, for sure. <laughs> we figure it out together we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna get some straightening about it yeah. all right y'all stay tuned love y'all talk to y'all in a minute yeah. I'm on my bike and I'm cruising. Yeah, I'm on my bike and I'm cruising. Yeah. Got these girls choosing. <laughs>